Alright, this video we're going to be looking at collecting like terms or simplifying algebraic expressions. So when you're asked to simplify something, it just means you're meant to write it in a more simple way that's a little easier to read. So when you simplify, you collect what we call like terms. So like terms are terms that have exactly the same variable, so the letter or the pronumeral, and they also have the same power. So if they have the same variable and the same power, that's what we call like terms. So for example, 3x, 2x and y. Let's say they're a list of terms. The ones that have the same variable, are this one and this one, and they also have the same power. The power that they both have is 1, so these two are what we call like terms. This one would be the odd one out. Let's look at another one. Let's say we've got negative 4, um, sorry, negative 4a, a and 2b. Again, looking at the same variable and the same power, this has the same variable as this, so these two are like terms. So when you simplify something, for example, if I have x plus x, I can only put together terms that are like terms. So I know this and this are like terms, so I can just simply add them. So when I add them, I look at the coefficient, which is the number in front of the letter. So if there's nothing in front, there's always a 1. So 1 plus 1 gives me 2, and I keep the variable exactly the same, so it would be 2x. So my like terms end up having that exact term in the answer. For example, if I have 2x plus 4y plus 3x, I want to simplify that and make that more simple. So my like terms would be 2x and a positive 3x. So 2x plus 3x, I add my coefficients, so I add these numbers here, gives me 5x, and the only thing that's left over is this here, it's a positive 4y. So that is a simplified version of the original algebraic expression. Let's look at a few more. Let's say I've got 4y plus, oops, plus 3y plus 6x plus x. Again, look at your like terms. This and this are like terms. Notice how I'm also circling the sign in front of it so I know what to do. I'm adding 4y and 3y, which gives me 7y. I also have a positive 6x and a positive 1x. So 6 plus 1 gives me 7. 6 plus 1 just gives me normal 7 positive x, so 6 plus 1 is a positive 7x, and that is why I have a plus symbol in there. So this here is the simplified version of the original expression. Where it gets a little bit difficult is when our symbols, um, our operations, sorry, involve a negative. Say if we've got uh, 4x plus 2y, take away x. So again, highlight or underline your like terms. So 4x and a negative 1x go together. So 4 take away 1 gives me 3x, and then the only thing left over is a positive 2y. So that's the simplified version. Last few examples. Let's say I've got 4a plus 9y, take 3a, take 6y. I'm going to simplify that, so let's put my like terms together, 4a and a negative 3a. 4 take 3 just gives me 1a. Now 1a I can write, or I can just write a, it doesn't matter. And then the only thing I've got left, let's get a different colour, is 9y take 6y. 9 take 6 gives me a normal, 9 take 6 is just normal positive 3y. So that's my simplified version. Okay, last example. Say I've got um, 3x take away 7y take away 9x take away 6y. A little bit more difficult only because of the negatives, but that's fine. First thing, always underline or highlight your like terms. 3x take 9x. So 3 take 9 gives me negative 6x. My other pair of like terms that I've also got, I've got a negative 7y, take 6y. 
or negative 7y, subtract 6y. Negative 7 takes 6. I add the numbers, but I keep the sign. So I add the numbers. Remember when we did negative um, numbers, we looked at integers. Negative 7, take away 6, add the numbers, keep the sign, is negative 13. And that's exactly what I put down here with the variable at the side. So that is collecting like terms.